We are honoring all veterans who served our country and uh, allow us to uh, walk free on the streets of uh, New York City and elsewhere in this country. We just had a bunch of colleges come by. We're looking at Columbia University. They have a float. Also represented Monroe College, Fairly Dickinson, Dickinson, Berkeley. Uh, Berkeley from uh, Boston, I believe. Uh, we had SUNY Farmingdale. I saw Montclair and a lot of enthusiasm. The Columbia uh, University has really made a concerted effort, by the, by the way, to bring veterans into their uh, their ranks, into their student body, particularly the School of General Studies. A and great we saw your alma mater, Fordham University. A while back, yes, Fordham. Do you want to walk in this parade? I feel like you should be walking a little bit. I mean, you know, you're a veteran. I'm very comfortable right now, Rosanna. Do you want to wave the flag? I, somebody had handed me the American flag. I feel like maybe you should you know, I wave should. it Rosetta, and, you're walk always <laughs> and walk around. I, I am I'm very comfortable. Rosetta, I gave I'll it the office. You. I told you that I'm, there's one day that I'm going to, like, sit back and honor you, and today is the day. Well, I'm still waiting for that to happen. I think there's <laughs> been a lot of harassment and needling. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I am really, really privileged to work with you every day. And, I, and really, everything that you do for our obviously us at, at Channel 5, but what you've done for our country is amazing, oh. and I don't say it enough, but uh, thank you. No, Rosanna, thank you so much. Not necessary. I love working with Keep you, Keep it of coming, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't get enough of it. Uh, may not get it back for a while, but I'll tell you this, and I do mean it. I, I just feel like the military gave me so much. I am so grateful the Marine Corps is very good to me, and uh, I met people I never would have met otherwise. I've been to places, experienced things that I never would have experienced had I, uh, had I not joined, so I'm glad I did. Well, we're happy that you're here. We're looking at some kids from Pace University, and please stay with us as we celebrate the veterans. Well, guys, David Spade, uh, I appreciate what you're doing, and I hope uh, Joe Dirt will help you get through it, or Tommy Boy, or any of the stupid things I do. Uh, uh, happy Veterans Day, and, and uh, have a good time. Pull it for you. What do we have here? Is that a donkey? That is a donkey. What does it say on the... It says Wounded Warriors Project. There you go. Got what does the donkey have to do with it, Paul Buca? <laughs> I'm not sure. They were horse soldiers, and now they're donkey soldiers. All right. Okay. Uh, look, you need some animals in a parade to there make it a parade. It. I guess so. All right. We have a special guest with us right now, Ryan Buck. He's, He's with, with something called ProjectVet.us. Sir, welcome to the show. Thanks. Tell us a little bit about your group. What does it do? Well, ProjectVet.us is a study that we're doing on the latest generation of veterans. We want to tell the story of the greatest generation, which was told in World War II. And this is a replication of a study that was done back then. And we want to have more people learn what the veteran experience is when they come home after Iraq and Afghanistan. And this project seeks to do just that. So what, what are you finding so far? Well, what we're finding so far is that the uh, GI Bill usage uh, is way up with the post 9-11 GI Bill. The benefits are very robust. But there's still some there's some challenges that veterans are facing. Like, so we're really interested. In, what are some of the challenges? Well, some of the challenges are typically uh, reintegration, getting back into school, uh, professors that have don't understand what the veteran experience is all about. And so what we're trying to tell is veterans are leaders. They play a major role in, in building strong democracies and civic engagement. And we're trying to capture that information and make sure that money, that GI Bill money, is, continues to be there. For them. Is there any obstacle that's unique to this group of veterans compared to their predecessors? Well, that's a great question. Um, I think that's what this study seeks to, to find out. Um, so you don't know yet? We don't know. The study's in effect, but we need 
We need veterans to log in to projectvet.us, take a short survey. This will be an ongoing project, and it's going to be uh, great to see what the results are. I'm sorry, is this government funded? No, no, it's it's not government funded. All privately raised it's money? It's all privately raised money, yes, sir. And Will you're you located where? Uh, right here in New York City. I'm a doctoral student at New School University. Okay, oh. Ryan Buck, it sounds interesting. The website is projectvet.us? Projectvet.us. Okay, thank you very much for being with us. Thank Good you, luck. sir. Very much, man. We're seeing a lot of students go by. We had Columbia a moment ago, and here's CUNY, the City University of New York. Fantastic. And well, you know, we keep hearing uh, the same thing from a lot of Vietnam veterans, and I know you, uh, you served as well, um, that when they came home, they really felt like they, they weren't welcomed home. Can you get over that? I mean, is it difficult to get over that, or is we, it something that you carry with you all the time? I think they'll remember it, but we're over it. We said never again, so we're over that. We're bringing this generation of veterans home the way they should be brought home. But after 10 years of war, you can see that the country's tired of it. We don't hear, it's on 10th, 11th, 12th page of the newspaper. The post, the names of the killed in action is down in the bottom left-hand corner where before the pictures would be there and everything. So the nation gets tired. Most importantly now is when we do get tired is to reach up and make sure these kids come back to jobs, the opportunity to use the GI bills we just told, and more importantly where people recognize this isn't charity, this is duty. These kids earn the right to have a job and make a contribution after they serve their country. And we just got to go hire them. What do you want to tell parents out there who might be a little concerned that their kid might want to go off to war at some point? Well, it's interesting. I, in this a small anecdote, I was with the recruiters in Omaha, Nebraska. And the recruiter of the year was paralyzed from the neck down. And I said to him, I said, oh my God, how do you, how do you recruit soldiers if you... He said, sir, are you talking about my injury? He said, yes, 10 miles outside of Omaha. He said, I was in an automobile accident. He said, it's a dangerous world we live in. And the rate of casualties in the modern war is considerably different than before. These kids are at risk, but they're so well-trained, so well-equipped, and the, the insistence on superiority of power is so absolute on our side that the danger is there, but the actual casualties are much further down than they have been in the past. So I would tell them, encourage your kids, if they want to do it, serve their country. Because what, what is it, 1% one, one or less yes. uh, of the country actually serves in the military? And we can use more. Encourage your kids if they want to. This is a personal decision, though. You don't want to be talked into joining the military, and you certainly don't want to talk somebody into doing well, you it. you have to have a certain amount of discipline, don't you think? Well, you can learn it. There are a lot of you things. You Yes, I think you can. And uh, But it is an all-encompassing uh, commitment. That's right. And uh, it's one that I think basically has to come from inside whether you really want to do that or not. They're so. playing your song. You need a hero. We have two of them right next to me. <laughs> what do we have here? The Las Vegas Young, Young Entertainers. Entertainers. They sang... Uh, they sang that Lee Greenwood Lee song. Greenwood Let's listen song. a little bit. That's right. raised money to come here and sing and participate in this parade. Six to 13 years old. Thank you so much for coming here. Meanwhile, we do have some information on those donkeys that we saw. That's right. Uh, well, hold on. That Let's, was the hold that, us. hold that thought. <laughs> okay, Listen to this for a little thought. bit more. <laughs> Very nice. They Thank were great. You. All right, we're going to go to Elise now. She is a special guest. I'm here with Wilfred Cotto of the of CUNY. He is the director for the Veteran Affairs program there. Can you talk a little bit about that program and what CUNY is doing for our veterans? Wonderful. Well, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here today in support of the New York City Veterans Day Parade, representing the City University of New York and the, and the students and the faculty that's here with us. So, um, But at CUNY, we, we're into supporting our students and uh, helping them with their transition and readjustment from combat into back into co college life. Uh, basically uh, helping them with their academics, helping them with their uh, service-connected disabilities, and, and providing them with support that retains them in class. Thank you so much. And what other programs do you have involved um, for the CUNY students? Well, we have programs at various campuses that, again, provide support, academic support, um, whether that be psychological, mental health support, um, internships. Um, we also have peer mentoring programs at some of the campuses, too. 
Um, we create vet veteran organizations and groups at each one of the campuses. We've hired uh, veteran service representatives, coordinators at each one of the campuses. So there's, a, there's an organization in place to help these returning vets. Well, thank you so much for what you do and what CUNY is doing as well. Thank you. We'll be right back along the parade route honoring service. Stay with us. Hey guys, clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose, happy Veterans Day. Thank you so much for all you're doing for our country. Happy Veterans Day. You're in my heart. Thank you. Thank you. We keep you in our thoughts and our prayers. You're not forgotten. We want you to come home soon and we thank you for everything you've done. Happy Veterans Day.